Hi everyone, it's Andrea and welcome back to the channel. I'm going to do a flip through of this DC Comics Wonder Woman colouring book. Now I recently ordered Jennifer Spider-Man one and I saw Wonder Woman, I thought I love Wonder Woman, I'm going to get a Wonder Woman comic book one. I have got a Wonder Woman colouring book I haven't coloured in but the pictures aren't as good and this is actually official DC marketing so it should be better. So it's the front and the back, it's a lovely cover. Uh, at the back of the book, which you'll see at the end, there are actual coloured coloured pictures in, so the actual original artwork, which is great. So it's nice, nice to see. So there are a lot of wallpapers like this, but this is about uh, a little bit about from about Wonder Woman superheroes and from let the full colour art from classic Wonder Woman comics featured at the end of the book serve as a guide and inspiration so I'll show you those when we get to them so they are double sided sadly that's the only bad thing so it won't be any good for markers but so we've got Justice League America Lost cover there she is there and then there she is there we've got this one so I, I, it's a lot of it's done because like her hair is black where it's white here in on the original art it's generally blue so it's a very dark blue so it gives it that blue sheen um but yeah so it's, it's really cool the way they've done the book so the, here's an actual cover when they re imagined the whole series and went back to the beginning and start from scratch i started it all again and here i've actually got some of these issues of the wonder woman comics up in the attic Love Wonder Woman. There is one that uses the Gail Gadot version of Wonder Woman, which I'd love to get as well. She's back. Did you miss me? But yeah, I've definitely got that one. And there's some just like some just nice easy images here, front and back of her costume. This one. I like this one. She's got the lasso. Superman versus Wonder Woman, the battle you never thought you'd see. And then you get a page of these horrible patterns. But then at least that means that, because I wouldn't colour these in, I don't think. Yeah, I might do. You could use markers on the, the two pages that back this if you so wish. She's just her front and back of her costume. Global Defenders, Justice League. Justice League page. Another nice one of her running so all the different looks she's had over the years is fantastic and a lot of them are in here justice league of america i like the comic book covers they're absolutely brilliant oh, look at that with her that's very linda carter isn't it let's be honest with the cape and everything love it i love it beautiful stuff i love i do love wonder woman And then again, we got another one, sort of these. This is slightly differently of these wallpaper pages because this is like all the different um, logo designs over the years, which is quite nice. But again, you could just means you could use marker on the other page if you wanted to. That's quite a good one. This one with the. Oh, it does show the front and backs of the different costumes, which is quite nice. Comic cavalcade. So this is the very early Wonder Woman. This is like forties Wonder Woman. So when she first came out. Um, comic cavalcade so this is what she originally looked like pretty much uh, I, I do like that um, Wonder Woman Green Lantern and the Flash so there you go that's who they are so I do love these covers I think they're wonderful oh, uh, battle weary Wonder Woman there I have not seen Wonder Woman 94. I know people say it's a bit of a mess, but I will watch it eventually. I did like the first one though. From the Flames. And then another wallpaper, so you could use markers on it. I think that's quite good actually. That's probably what I'll do on some of them. And there's these, the different kinds of costumes she's had over the years great I like this one so this was from like the I think the late 60s early 70s where she wasn't Wonder Woman so much as she was just Diana Prince private investigator they went that way for a while but it's good to see the, the different clothing that she's had over the years and the different costumes there were you can make her boobs stand out a bit on that one 
so absolutely fantastic. Her hair looks like Jane Russell's there. Superman or Wonder Woman, the new 52s. That's when they revamped it again. And there's this one. And there. Real nice grayscale there. And a bit of a comic strip one there for you to colour, which is nice. Like that one. Again, she's got the lasso. She looks more like a man in that picture. But... I think it was just the style of the art. Another one of these. There's not that many of them. Not as like there is in the, the um, Disney books. This one. Uh, these, are, these are really nice artworks. Even if you did never colour them, it's nice to have. Now that's a nice one. I like this one. Wonder Woman. And then you've got uh, Superman. What do you get the Justice League of America for Christmas? <laughs> Now that's uh, a nice cover there with all the different uh, critters on. It's a wallpaper background, but that's pretty cool. Another one there. I do love these covers. They're amazing. Uh, and we're getting up to the original art covers in a minute. So what the some of them really look like when they were first published. So professional artists, as I'm linking one of them but at least like I said you could use your markers that's a bit of a punky Wonder Woman and that's a very very battle hardened woman things she's been through so onto the there's the last art picture which is a all-star comics cover so that's a really old one Justice League fights for a united America number 16 so that and it was 10 cents it tells you how old that is it's got all the different characters on the front and here is this original cover uh, with all the the colors on it so you've got all the different characters so obviously there's Wonder Woman there so let's have a look at the the original design something so here's comic cavalcade ones so it gives you an idea of what the colors should be or what the colors were at that point so as you can see her hair is slightly blue tinted so where you get the white bits in her hair you would put a, a medium blue medium to dark blue in it so there's there's that one and there's this one I've actually got this edition I've got this this magazine this Wonder Woman comic um, in my collection somewhere and I've definitely I know I've got that one as well see this is an old Wonder Woman cover it's fall issue number 10 and you can tell that look because um, it's the old style Wonder Woman Wonder Woman and the Invasion from Saturn and then that's a more modern one from, I think it's from the 80s I would say and these are like um, Wonder Girl even though they don't finish the art feature the art in, in the book Wonder Woman Wonder Girl type image um, in the, the book to colour but it's just to give you an idea of what colours to use Again, that one's not in there either. That's a nice one. It just shows you how it is. How you can colour the different uh, aspects of her costume. and yeah, I think it's nice to have these pages in the back as well. I, I really do. I think it's really nice to have them because you can see how the original artist did them and how it changed from the very simple drawings in the 40s to what it became later so there we go that is Mother Wonder Woman DC Comics colouring book I'll leave a link in the description box below if you, and if you would like me to colour in this book uh, let me know in the comments down below and we'll, we'll pick one of the pictures and, and have a go it'll be a good bit of a laugh and I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next video bye everybody